Pascal's Diner. On the corner of Rue Street and Rue Road in Ma Vie, lost like a train in a Chirico painting, rumbling dimly through darkened grain fields, sits Pascal's Diner. In the shaky fluorescence, cigar-smoking women in saris from Bombay, brown fingers thickened and shiny with rings, push up to the counter. Red toes in thin sandals kick at the railing, wriggling round bottoms, swiveling their stools. When Pascal turns toward them, they giggle. One whispers, closely, shh, listen. Bending forward breasts onto her arms, listen, she whispers, his accent, a thistle, cutting, she motions, your ear like a seek. Yes, when Pascal turns his clever face toward them, nose like a sleeve and lips like a sieve, he siphons out his words, crimping the edges, cracking them into gravel-like fragments. Abraham's testing, the forfeit of Isaac, brandishing a spoon, and where is God off to? Nodding, they laugh. The gods are often careless. Lord Shiva, when he lops off Ganesh's head. With his round Buddha belly, Pascal reminds them of Ganesh. But why is he so angry, waving his arms? At Yahweh? At Abraham? Or at them? Because they're lovely, bright in their wrappers, shining like wings, gold arms, hair thick, gleaming like spilt ink, and certain no god truly would forget such a promise. Stars, many sons, and daughters like sand, or Sarah would remind him, doesn't Parvati get her son a new head, a luminous blue, and fragrant as mangoes. <laughs>